13 days ago, the Trump campaign promised to release evidence that would prove all the women who have accused Donald Trump of sexual assault are lying. All of them. 13 days later, the Trump campaign has released no evidence about any of those accusations. And now, with just 11 days left in the presidential campaign, a 12th woman has come forward accusing Donald Trump of grabbing her. Nini Laksanen, Miss Finland 2006, fin uh, told a Finnish newspaper that Donald Trump grabbed her moments before she appeared on the Late Show with David Letterman with three other Miss Universe contestants. Donald Trump owned the Miss Universe pageant at that time. NBC News hasn't confirmed these uh, new allegations. Uh, she also told a Finnish newspaper, somebody told me there that Trump liked me because I looked like Melania when she was younger. It left me disgusted. In an interview taped before the latest accusations from the former Miss Finland, Melania Trump said this. They were, they were lies. And as I said before, all the accusations, they should uh, be handled in a court of law. So you believe the lawsuit should go forward? Uh, yes, I believe that. And because to accuse somebody uh, without evidence, it's very hurtful and it's very damaging and unfair. The lawsuits that George Stephanopoulos referred to, of course, were the ones that Donald Trump threatened to sue all of his accusers. Attorney Gloria Allred represents three of those accusers. She's also a Hillary Clinton supporter and was a California delegate to the Democratic National Convention. Gloria Allred joins us now. Uh, Gloria Allred, thank you very much for joining us tonight. Thank uh, you. What was your reaction uh, to this uh, threat again today, uh, issued now by both Donald Trump and Melania Trump, of suing your clients and all of the accusers of Donald Trump? Well, Lawrence, uh, he is threatening to sue uh, the New York Times, the accusers uh, that accuse him of uh, assaulting them, the uh, NBC, uh, and God knows who else he's planning to sue. But I guess he doesn't want to take responsibility for what his own words were on the Access Hollywood tapes. This is ridiculous. Has he never heard of the First Amendment? Has he never heard of free speech? There are so many people who come to this country because they want to be able to exercise the free speech that they cannot exercise in many parts of the world. In fact, if they do exercise it in criticizing a president or even someone who might wish to be president, they face possible arrest, possible prosecution. We we have that wonderful First Amendment to the United States Constitution, free speech. And Mr. Trump has to understand that he should not be threatening anyone who just displeases him, criticizes him. He needs to get over it. Let him give his defense without bullying his way into the White House and then spending his time, if God forbid he gets there, sitting in depositions, as you just said, uh, with all of the people that he sued. I mean, how is he going to deal with any major crisis? of our nation, if there is one, if he's sitting in a deposition and uh, trying to defend the lawsuits, which, by the way, might be filed against him, or if he does file against the women, would he might face a lawsuit then, a cross-complaint, because he's alleged uh, actions that are, he's alleged that they have defamed him, and they may allege that he defamed them by calling them liars, by saying that their claims are fabrication, uh, that it's fiction. Uh, be careful what you wish for, Mr. Trump, because you might just get it. Let me get your reaction to this latest threat uh, just issued within the last hour and a half of suing NBC for the release of the Access Hollywood video. Can you see any cause of action in that? Well, you know, I, I don't know what all the true facts are, Lawrence, and, and, and I certainly don't get my facts from Donald Trump, uh, given the list of lies that he has said about so many people that are all listed on the Internet. Uh, I mean, you just can't even keep up with them. So, you know, I don't know whether he knew that his mic was hot. 
Uh, I don't know what the contracts say, if anything, about whether what he was saying when he was miked uh, could be used at any other time. I don't know how those tapes uh, ultimately became public, whether NBC had anything to do with them, how it came into the possession of someone. These are just unknown facts, so I can't speculate. Unlike Donald Trump, unless I have the true facts, I don't draw conclusions. But I say to NBC, why don't you just say, game on, Donald Trump? If, if that's what he wants to do, if he wants to fight it out in a lawsuit, okay, well, then he'll fight it out in a lawsuit. Uh, quickly before you go, what would be your uh, defense strategy if Donald Trump did file one of these lawsuits? Well, I, I can tell you that he's not going to make women cower. Those days of bullying women, and many women still are being bullied, at home, in their workplace, uh, in their community, and we're just not going to take it anymore. These women, if they are sued by Donald Trump, at least the ones that I represent, we have an, I'm going to vigorously defend them. We have armies of attorneys who are going to be available to even uh, represent perhaps uh, those women that I don't represent. Uh, there's going to be a well-funded defense. So, you know, you're, all your attempts to make women cower in fear, Mr. Trump, are going to be completely unsuccessful. As to me, as I have said, smarter, richer, and more famous people than you, Mr. Trump, have tried to threaten me and failed. You sound eager to get him under oath in a deposition. Uh, it would be my pleasure. Gloria Allred, thank you very much for joining us tonight. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Up next.